Leader of the Social Democratic and Labour Party in Northern Ireland, Mr John Hume, said after leaving Mrs Thatcher tonight that he'd refused to accept his proposals for dealing with the IRA hunger strikers. He said she'd been implacable and the government would not initiate any movement. The families of the 13 young black victims of the Deptford fire are to seek a High Court order quashing the open verdict recorded today by the inquest jury. They intend to ask for a new inquest and to launch their own inquiry. And that's the overnight news, so good night. Well, BBC One is covering tomorrow's FA Cup replay beginning at 7.15 in Cup Final Grandstand. And this is preceded by a special edition of Top of the Pops, which begins at the earlier time, 6.55. But now, for the weather prospects for those two teams, here's Michael Fish. Thank you very much and uh, good evening to you. Well, I don't think I can forecast the result of the match tomorrow evening, but I can say that the weather looks... It's all from us here on BBC One. Our colleagues on Radio 2 will be there through the night. Uh, now there's Brian Matthew round midnight with a musical feature on Hoagie Carmichael. But for me, Richard Straker, on behalf of all of my colleagues here on BBC Television, it's time now to wish you a very warm good night. Good night. Together with Michael Fish. And before we leave you, a reminder that there's music and entertainment and a conversation on Radio 2 now. Uh, at the moment, there's Peter Marshall with his late show, and that's followed at 2 o'clock in the morning by you and the night and the music. And you can listen to that all the way through until 5 o'clock. But from us here on BBC One, with the time just coming up to two minutes past one, that brings us to the end of our evening. Thank you for your company, and may we now wish you all a very good night. Good night to you. Three years ago, he's appeared in public perhaps more than any other pope in history, and that's meant facing great risks. In 1979, he made an historic visit to Poland, the country where he was born. Despite the communist government there being officially against religion, tens of thousands of people turned out to greet him wherever he went. Some of them had walked 20 miles to catch a glimpse of the Holy Father. Later that year, he visited Ireland, Millions saw him as he toured in what's become known as the Pope Mobile. His advisers had said the visit was dangerous, but see, he said he was on a mission for peace. And before leaving, he made a dramatic appeal to the men and women of violence. On my knees, I beg you to turn away from the path of violence and to return to the ways of peace. Well, now the Pope himself has become a victim of that violence. Someone who knows him well is the Archbishop of Westminster, Cardinal Hume, the leader of Britain's Roman Catholics. Today, I asked him if, in view of what's happened, he thought the Pope would have to stop mixing amongst his people. I think that there will be many people who will try to persuade him to uh, be a bit more careful I don't think that he will want to do that. Uh, he loves to be with people, and he loves to feel that people can come to him, and he has a special love for children. Um, and uh, I, I simply cannot think of him um, agreeing to have a great barrier of security between himself and those who want to approach him. The Queen was amongst many world leaders who sent messages of sympathy as soon as they heard the news. America's President Reagan, himself the victim of a gunman six weeks ago, said he was praying for the Pope. 
and in Poland, where they were praying for their countrymen as well as their pope, all places of entertainment were closed today as special masses took place. And now other news, and as the excitement builds up for <coughs> excuse me, as the excitement builds up for tonight's FA Cup replay at Wembley, both Manchester City and Spurs have said there'll be no changes from the teams which played last Saturday. Until this afternoon, it was thought that both sides would drop players because of injury problems. The teams have been training hard over the last few days, and Spurs have been putting in some extra practice on penalty kicks. Tonight's game could be a close thing, and if the scores are still level after extra time, the winner will be chosen on penalties. I hope you've enjoyed our programme tonight, and we'll see you later on. Bye-bye. <laughs>